We love Peruvian food. Alright, so we are here at 90th Street and Roosevelt Avenue. It's the spot that normally has Ecuadorian car sets set up every day, and they're set up right here now too. But we're here for Peruvian cart that only sets up on the weekends during the morning and the afternoon. We're starting off our Peruvian food tour today with some tamales. We are at the Antojitos Doña Fela cart. So they have the tamales every weekend morning right here. We got ours with pork. So as you see, it's this nice orange color of the masa here. Let's take a bite of it by itself. Mm. You know how we get with the cumin? We can detect it pretty much right away. And that's, I tasted it right away. To go with that corn, it's got a little kick. What we gotta do is add these pickled onions right here. Put that on top. Big chunk of this pork fell out already, so I'm gonna take a bite of that too. I got a little of everything. The onions are pickled, they got a little kick to them. There's a little chili pepper in here. You got some cilantro in there too. Jimmy's excited, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so it's served hot, which is nice. It's nice in the morning. Um, it's a little sweet, and you can taste that really earthy flavor of those herbs. It tastes like there's a little honey in here as well. It's, it's nice, not too sweet though. It's really like comforting, soothing drink. Really nice. Oh yeah, so good. So we are outside our second spot. Yeah. It's called Juanita's Cafe. They have specialized here in uh, Peruvian sandwiches. So Peruvian, like we had Peruvian sandwiches in Lima, we enjoyed them. So we're gonna see how they do it here. Ooh. And they have a nice outdoor space for us to chill. Let's go. We got a very iconic Peruvian sandwich here. It's chicharron con camote. Chicharron, you know, fried pork and camote and fried sweet potato. So it's really cool. You have that built-in savory sweet in this sandwich. We had it twice when we were in Lima. Two famous places, El Chinito and La Lucha. So we're here in Jackson Heights and we got it. The sandwich is so big, he cut it in half for us, which is really cool. And look how big each slice is. And of course on the side, why not get more sweet potato, right? And then it comes with the pickled onions. Ooh, it smells incredible. We're so ready for this. And what's cool, this chicharron is not pork belly. It's actually pork shoulder. So it's gonna be a different texture and consistency. Let's see how that is. So excited. Look at that pork right there. Oh my God. And look at that pork fat. Ooh, it's just oozing with fatty goodness. Mm. 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 Look, at, look at how thin that bun is. I mean, look at that, how thick the pork is. <laughs> it's just, mm. oh, look at this thing. <laughs> the pork is just bursting out of this bread. It's like Jumi said, the bread is very thin, which is great, because that, that means the meat and the sweet potato has nowhere to hide. Oh boy, look at this. I'm so excited to try this bite. Oh, that's so good. That pork has so much flavor. It's crispy, but not too crispy. It's not too, there's bits of fat. It's a nice mix of fat and just tender chunks of pork. And that marinade, I don't know what they marinated this with, but it's got so much flavor. It's almost like it's a little cinnamony, slightly sweet. It's just very aromatic. Oh, it's so good. Oh, we got a chunk here I pulled right off. Mm. Then that sweet potato comes in, just slightly sweet. Thin sliced. Mm. This is a breakfast sandwich right here. You know, New York, we're known for the bacon, egg, and cheese, but this, oh, how can you go wrong with sweet potato and fried pork? And they also have the pickled onions. I'm gonna take a bite with these pickled onions as well. Let's go with the hands. Now those pickled onions really cut through the richness, they add a little kick, so it adds a tanginess and there's a little spice in there too. And add some crunch, add that all together, oh it's a total package right here. This sandwich, 
awesome. All right, you might be wondering I'm holding up this green sauce right here. This this spot is actually owned by Pio Pio, which is a very famous roast chicken chain here in New York City. It started right on this block. It started over here. One of the original locations is right here on Northern Boulevard, right next door. So what they're famous for is this green sauce is unbelievable. So I'm gonna try some with the sweet potato. It's as good as ever, folks. It's creamy, it's got that spicy, it's, oh, it's unbelievably good. We got the sangria here. Mm. What I love about it, you can really taste the wine still. You really taste the fruit too, but it's not sweet. I love it, it's not too sweet. Some sangria is gonna be, you'll bite into the sugar. This is not that way. This is excellent sangria. We are at our third Huh. Yeah, it's kind of like our third stop, but you might recognize this car from just a few hours ago. It's the same Antojitos Doña Fela car, but now they have a whole different menu in the afternoon for lunch. We're excited, and I'm so excited for what we're gonna get. Oh. This is a round called Anticuchos. They're amazing. I've been eating them here for a long time in Queens, and we had them in Lima, and we just, oh, they're, we can't get enough of these. We literally come here every weekend at least once, sometimes twice to get these, they're amazing. And these are the best we've had in New York. They're phenomenal. It is only for today's videos that we're sharing an order of anticuchos, but usually every weekend we get, we get one order of each anticuchos. But sometimes I feel like I would want more after, the, after I only have one order. Oh no, most of the time we get one order, feel hungry, so we get Half another order and we split it. So much meat packed on these. Let's take that bite. Mm. These beef hearts are just out of control. They look like they've been marinated for a very long time. They're grilled to perfection here. They're juicy, they're meaty but they're dense at the same time, but they, they still stay so tender. Uh, I don't know how they do it, but... Wow. The texture of these beef hearts, so anticuchos, anticuchos are beef hearts. So these have such a great consistency. They're tender, but they're also very meaty and dense, but they're just so well marinated that it's just, oh, it's such a unique cut of meat prepared so well. Hearts are really some of our favorite type of innards. It's definitely, it may be my number one. Marinated so well, it's kind of garlicky. It's got a little kick of the spice, there's chili flakes on there. Mm. We have with this is another classic Peruvian dish to serve it on the side here, papa a la huancaina. So it's potato in a creamy, cheesy sauce. So, there it is. Mm. So you taste the creaminess and that slight bit of cheese, but there's also the ahi, the yellow pepper in here, so it gives that spicy kick to go with it. You could just eat the sauce. Just, you just keep soaking it up. It's so good. Mm. Wow. We got dessert. So the other special here on the weekends in the afternoon for lunch is picarones. And picarones, they're like Peruvian donuts. They're made with sweet potato and calabaza squash. It is so good. And here, it's, they're very light. And look at look at that dough in between. So you see how she just pulls the dough by hand, fresh, makes them fresh to order. Oh my God. So then it comes with this syrup. And the syrup is drizzled on top. So I'm gonna dip this in the syrup. Mm. Oh my God. To really taste that texture of that sweet potato squash. There's anise seeds in here too. So the anise seeds give it a really nice flavor. And then the syrup, it, it's less sweet than you think. The sweet, the syrup also has, it's made with orange rind. So it gives it a nice citrusy taste. So we'll dip that in. Oh my God. Even taste some clove in there too. It's so good. I'm gonna just eat a whole box of these by myself. Easy, maybe two. That's how light these are. Unbelievable. So we got here, we got this special Peruvian drink, very traditional here. It's called chicha morada. So it's made with purple corn. Uh, it's sweet. So we're gonna take a sip of it here. We love this drink. So let's take a sip of this chicha morada. Mm. 
Oh, it's so good with that, that purple corn. It's got that little tannic kind of taste, like a, like a hibiscus or a cranberry, but it also has the flavor of a little bit of clove, some cinnamon, some citrus in here. Oh, it's Okay, hi, Sam. Hi. Yeah, I work here. Um, my family's business is Antojito Doña Fela. Um, we have been in Queens, Jackson Heights, on 90th Street for 10 years. We started out of a, food, a shopping cart, and now we have an official street food cart for the past, um, this is new, for two years now. Um, but a lot of folks know us around the community um, for food, and we have been selling food for many, many years, going back to Peru. We're from Lima, San Juan de Pira Flores. My grandmother and grandfather are both from Arequipa, and they um, traveled at like during their preteens to Lima and have uh, been working ever since um, around a lot of different businesses. But food was ultimately where we like what we did, our thing, what it became our thing. Um, we've been making anticuchos and polladas um, since they were making it, and so. Um, we do that here um, on the weekends. We've been starting to sell anticuchos, picarones, um, polladas, empanadas, um, and yeah, this is a family business and we love what we do. It's been a while since I've sat down and ate here, especially these ribs. I had the chicken recently, about a year or two ago, but I haven't actually sat down for a proper meal here in a long time. So, gotta try everything by itself first before we add any sauce at all. Let's take some of this roast chicken. Let's take some of the roast chicken right here. Oh, it's so tender, it's like falling off the bone already. Mm. Oh, it's so juicy. The skin is so flavorful, it's not too salty either. Some of these Peruvian chicken joints that may oversalt at times, this one doesn't. Mm. Now with a dip of the contraband sauce. There's just something about this sauce, it's so creamy. It's got that spice and the cream perfectly blended together. And there's so many mystery ingredients. I know people have tried to replicate the sauce and they just can't do it. I don't know what they put in there, but... Oh. Now, it's time to try this rib. I haven't had this rib in so long. It looks amazing. Mm. Oh my God. There's a slight sweetness here. Oh, it's not salty. It's got so much flavor, it's extremely juicy. How much meat is on this rib? Oh man, it's got this nice little crisp on the outside. Mm. Let's try this pork fried rice. Yeah, I see these red pork nuggets. These are like the nuggets that I used to eat in the old school Chinese takeout egg rolls. Those little brown red nuggets. Looks like there's some bean sprouts here, some onions. It's a very solid fried rice here. <clears throat> Peruvian, they call it arroz chafa. So we got that here. There's bits of egg in here. They got those crunchy onions and bean sprouts. It's very solid. It's nice when the meat rests on top and the rice soaks up those meat flavors. We might add some sauce on this too. We might have to do that. This may be the perfect opportunity to try their house-made sauce. Okay, this one smells much more vinegary more of a water base. Doesn't smell like it's gonna be, and the texture doesn't seem so creamy. Let's see. Mmm. It's good, it's tangy this one. It's tangier and just like I thought, it's more of like a water base. Ooh, we have come to the last stop. Yeah, we're gonna feast at this spot. It's called Urubamba. It's a long time favorite. It's the first place where I really got into Peruvian food. A lot of family dinners here. Ooh, we're excited to show you all different dishes here. We're it's ready to go. food spot, I mean food that we ate earlier, yep. but we took a little break and now we're ready for dinner. We're ready. Ah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we ate a lot today, but we ordered a lot too, because why not? We're gonna go out with a bang. It's our full, our only sit down restaurant experience, full service that we're doing today. And we're gonna, of course, have to start off with some sangria. Good thing this is half the picture. <laughs>
So we couldn't do a Peruvian food video without seafood, especially ceviche. Rachi. Lomo saltado. <laughs> ceviche here. So let's see, we asked for a medium spicy. Let's see, let's take that bite. Mm. You really get that tang from the lime. You have that spiciness from the chili. Oh, it's really good. And the fish is very clean. It's a neutral taste. It's excellent. So we got here the rachi. So it's Bible tripe grilled in aji panko. So that's a Peruvian pepper. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Tripe here is very well done. It doesn't have that gamey flavor that some tripe can suffer from. I said, this is the Bible tripe. So it's not honeycomb tripe that you may see that looks kind of like a thermal shirt. This one's really nice. It has that, that subtle kick from the chili pepper. It's a nice tripe dish. If you like tripe and you like mofa, try the rachi. Take a bite of it. Let's get everything in one. Let's get the beef, let's get the french fry, and let's get some onion. All in one. Mm. Beef, you can definitely taste the soy sauce, but it doesn't have that salty soy sauce flavor. It's a well balanced. The beef is tender, but it's a little chewy at the same time. It's a good balance of that too. It's a very balanced dish. It's excellent. It's a little cilantro. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> Right, so of course we had to get one of our favorite dishes here, taco taco. We'll scoop it up with a spoon. Mm. It's marinated so perfectly. It's grilled to perfection here. You got the little uh, char marks on the outside, but the chicken is still so juicy. It's that dark meat. Then you got the rice and beans. Combined, it's delicious. But let's also have a little bit of the rice and beans together. The taco, this dish is unbelievably good. Wow. Right, so of course, can't leave it out dessert. No matter how much we ate, no matter how full we are, is that magical effect, that biological effect that just makes you always open up space for dessert. I don't know what we got. Lucoma ice cream. And we also got alfajor. Oh, what a feast of Peruvian food. Peruvian food's one of our favorite cuisines in the world. We love the country of Peru as well. When we went last year, it blew us away. Oh, we hope you enjoyed it all. We did four stops, five stops, four places. You know, we hit the same place twice because it's that good, right? Oh man, we hope you got to learn more about the cuisine, see all these delicious dishes. It's just, a, uh, it just scratches the surface. There's so much more out there, but this is some of our favorites here, right here in Queens. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you learned a lot about Peruvian cuisine tonight, a lot of the best dishes. All right, yeah, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all your support, all the love we've been feeling it lately. Uh, please give us a thumbs up on this video if you liked it, which I hope you did. Yes. Uh, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell button. <laughs> you want to be the first to comment, right? Of course you do. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.